this is not just one more session. This is not just one more year. So much has happened since we last met. The world is watching as we come together to prevent and end violence against women and girls. Recent events and protests point to growing awareness and momentum. Over the past few months, women and men and young people took to the streets with signs that ask, where is the justice? With rallying cries that say, wake up. As we do so, we must ensure. Now it is the time for action. It is time for action when up to 70% of women in some countries face physical and or sexual violence in their lifetime. When intimate partner violence accounts for between 40 and 70% of female murder victims in Australia, Canada, Israel, South Africa, and the United States. When one in three girls is developing in developing countries is likely to be married as a child bride. When some 140 million girls and women have suffered female genital mutilation, when millions of women and girls are trafficked in modern day slavery, and when women's bodies are in battleground and rape is used as a tactic of war, it is time for action. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Many of you in this hall have personally dealt with or experienced even violence against women and girls. Certainly most of you know someone who has you have shared their grief. You have shared their anger. We are here today and these weeks in New York to channel our outrage into action. <coughs> in countries where the domestic violence is not still What we have seen with the horrific situations that lived to Malala and these women in South Africa and in India I think there is a rising momentum on the people, on, on the people who are really, I would say, demanding that we progress on that map of actions to prevent and end this violence. We shouldn't use um, as an excuse culture, tradition, social norms, religion, because there's no religion and no culture that really supports uh, violence against women and girls. Others will be probably uh, very active.